woman, a priest, a rabbi, and two ministers in Denver, Colorado, started United Way back in 1887. United Way of Williamson County was founded in 1961. We have invested back into the community more than $83 million. That's huge. Health, education, and financial stability. Those are our big three focus areas. The statistics show that you learn to read until you're in grade three. And from grade three beyond, you read to learn. So our program works with first, second, third, and fourth grade kids. It's an after school program. And one of the barriers has always been for tutoring that kids can't get home. So our program is different because we pay for transportation and the district buses. We show over a 90% rate of improvement in reading and math. And if we can get them engaged in reading and loving to read, then they're going to succeed. So yeah, it's wonderful. In 2014, we had the privilege of partnering with Franklin City as well as Williamson County government to conduct a community needs assessment. What we found out was that mental health had risen to be one of our top three needs. Although we had STARS, which is professionally trained counselors in the schools, we saw there was an extra need for us to partner with Mercy Community Health to bring professionally trained therapists as well into the schools. That they see everything from trauma to anxiety to suicidal thoughts, kids that are just struggling with those, those are their top three. We started the program in four county schools, and then today we are in 21 different schools, and 10 of those are in Williamson County. We are a convener. We bring people together from all walks of life. Our largest program is our community investment program. It's also our biggest asset. We work with 44 programs at 31 agencies. The biggest secret about United Way is how that money gets allocated. We have a community impact committee, and it's a community review board. It's made up of business executives, retirees, young professionals. This year we had 70 folks serve. They review all the budgets for every single agency and all the programs, review their strategic outcomes to make sure that the money is actually making a difference, visit each program one-on-one -on -one in, in small groups, and then they are the ones that go back and decide who gets funding and how much funding. That's what really opened my eyes and 15 years later, I'm still involved and, and now are chairing the board. Um, so be careful, because once you get involved, you'll be involved for, <laughs> for a long time. Our mission is to improve people's lives by mobilizing the caring power in our communities. You know, I kind of think of us as being a drone and we can kind of see the whole community and we can kind of see that these are gaps. These are things that are not being addressed. How can we bring in the best professionals, the government, our school system, retirees, community activists, folks that just want to get involved? How can we bring all those people together to make a huge impact for those folks is really what we want to make sure is happening here every day.